What's up guys, it is Will here from Energy Fitness in Kiln Farm. We are gonna start this lockdown, okay, by setting those goals and knowing what we want to achieve in the 28 days when we cannot go and have fun at the pub or come into the gym. All right, we've all learned from the last lockdown what time by ourselves can do, okay? So let's use this time efficiently and use it to better ourselves. And to start, we're gonna start by setting some really good goals for ourselves. And the way you set yourself a good goal is you make it SMART, which stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound, okay? So if your goal is, let's say, lose weight, the way you make it specific is you say, how much weight do you wanna lose? Maybe you wanna lose four pounds or eight pounds, okay? Is it measurable? Yes, we can measure that. We can check in halfway through to see how much weight you've lost and how much weight you've gained or whatever, whatever way around you're doing it, okay? Is it achievable and realistic? If you say you wanna lose 20 pounds in 28 days, not, not that realistic, all right? If you wanna lose eight pounds, six pounds, that is looking very realistic right there. And is it time bound? Yes, it's time bound because we've only got 28 days to get it done. So think about your goals and know what you want to achieve. If you're unsure about your goals or you just want to improve your general fitness, you need somewhere to start and you need something to measure. So what we're going to do today is we're also going to set some baseline testing. We're going to see exactly where we are on the fitness scale and it's something that you can do at home so that you can track and measure your progress. It's going to be three moves. The first move is press-ups, second is sit-ups, and the third is burpees, okay? You do it for one minute each move and you do as many reps as you possibly can. We're also gonna do a second baseline testing halfway through the month and then one at the end so that you know how far you've progressed in that time. So there it is, it's specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and it is time bound, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate the exercises now so that you're 100% confident on what you've got to do. The first one is we've got that we're going to go through is press ups. All right, you want to be as harsh on yourself as you can, okay, when you're looking at form to make it to, to make your progression as good as possible. Okay, when you're doing those press ups, what I'm looking for is a nice tight body shape, like so. All right, and when you're dropping down to the ground, you want that chest to go as low as you can and then right back up. If you can't do full press ups yet, do them on your knees. Exactly the same. Count the amount you do. You've got one minute to do as many press-ups as you can. The second one we're doing is sit-ups. And it is exactly the same. Plant those feet so they're nice and flat down on the ground. Keep those arms pinned in on your chest, holding nice and tight. And you want to lay all the way down and then sit all the way back up. All right? Again, if you can't do that full sit-up, Throw those arms to start with. If you still can't do your full sit up, just start with those half sits and get up as far as you can. And again, you've got one minute to do as many reps as you can. And the last one is burpees. What we're looking for in a burpee is we're starting standing up. We're going hands all the way to the ground, legs out in that press up position, jumping those feet back in nice and close. And then with a nice little jump and a clap above the head, to get those arms up and over, okay? And again, you can make these low impact by simply just stepping between each one of those movements. So get your timer ready, get some banging tunes on, all right? Measure that baseline, see where you're at right now, and get those targets written down. And make sure that they are smart targets, the specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Let's use this lockdown to our advantage and let's smash it out of the park.